Hey there, I have a Walmart beauty box for the fall. It's only $5, let's rip this bad boy open. Right in, paper, don't care about that, and more paper, and let's go. So the first thing is Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Clean Cleansing Facial Wipes. I've used this before, I like them, I am already out of the ones that I had previously, so already excited about that. There's a lot in here. Okay, so then we have a Dove Advanced Care Beauty Finish 48 Hour Deodorant, and this is the moisture one. I've been actually needing to take a deodorant to work because sometimes when I'm working, I get a little moist in the armpit area. Is that, like, gross to say? I don't think it is. We all have, I think we all have some sort of deodorant, like, sweating issues, but yes, I am going to take this to work, absolutely, so I definitely could have used that. I can use it. I'm going to use it. And then we have an Aussie Mega Hairspray, and this is a 24-hour flexible hold in one spray. And it's just like, not the most flexible, but just a little bit, which is actually really good for me because sometimes I want to give my hair bod, it's really flat right now, um, and just like spray my flyaways down in the area, and I don't want it to be extremely like thick and just what's the word I'm looking for? Crunchy? I don't really love that, so this is probably a good amount of hold for me. Bless you, Tester. And yeah, I'm excited. So far, so good. I can actually use all three of these things. We have Act Advanced Care Placard and Frosted Mint Mouthwash. I don't have any mouthwash at the moment. Another thing I guess that'd be good for in my purse, if I'm wearing a big purse. If I have a small one, I probably won't put it in there, but I guess I'll use that too. Definitely already worth the $5. Then we have an Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. I just ran out of my face moisturizer, so I have been like scrounging around looking for others. I know I have a lot, I just can't find them. So this will probably give me about a week's worth. And then we have a Chic Hydro Silk Disposable Five Blade Razor. Who doesn't like or can't use a razor unless you've gotten all your hair lasered off? Speaking of which, I have started laser hair removal treatments. I had my first treatment already. Now this one I did on my, it's like a medical reason that I needed it on my scar line from my previous surgeries. It's just supposed to help um, the scar because hair can irritate it. And I was so freaked out going in because they, the lasers that they use don't have any cooling device on it, so I know a lot of lasers now have a cool blast after the laser, and the place that I go to, which is at a dermatologist, doesn't have that. So they were like, you know, we'll be honest, like, all the men basically come in half an hour before and we have this gel that you can put on that will numb the area, and he was like, but the women, like, never use it and they're perfectly fine. Which is a normal thing that I hear, guys don't <laughs> handle pain as well. So I was just like, I'm gonna try it without the numbing stuff first, and then, because you have to do it in treatment, so at least three treatments is how it works. Sometimes people have to go for four or five treatments, because hair grows at different times, so my next one is gonna be in like a month and a half. But anyways, I got there, I didn't use the numbing gel, I was so <laughs> nervous, it did not hurt at all. If anything, and this is so weird to say, it felt oddly nice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. I felt like when he was doing it, it was like someone was scratching an itch, like one of those kind of feelings. It was weird. I felt odd because I've heard bad things about laser hair removal and it was the opposite for me. Now there were a few times where if he went in the same spot more than once, like overlapped it, it was mildly uncomfortable, but I wouldn't call it painful, if that makes sense. Most of it felt good. I I feel like I want my entire body laser hair removed now. I am such a freak. I'm getting my armpits done next week, though, and that's for, like, cosmetic reasons, of course, so I have to go to a different person um, within the office. I had a doctor do my scar line, but my armpits are being done by um, just some really nice lady. And I'm excited, so if you want an update on, like, armpits versus obviously you know that, like, my scar area was perfectly fine, um, I will definitely update you on that and then show you the results afterwards. I'm so excited to never have to shave my armpits again.
This video has taken an odd turn, but it makes sense because I had the shaver in it. Let's move on though. We have a couple of these little Nivea extended moisture um, for dry to very dry skin lotion packets. I'll probably just use these on my feet to be honest. They have been so dry. Like, you know, I don't love foil packets, but they're just like little extra, so not a big deal. And then we have um, more foil packets of moisturizer, Jurgens Wet Skin Moisturizer. So are you supposed to put this on when you're wet? You are, that's so weird. I'll try it, so that's that. And then a toothpaste sample pack of Crest 3DY. I use Crest 3DY toothpaste, not that specific one. Um, a Biore Self-Heating One Minute Mask. Only a minute, that's not bad. Haven't used that either. And then a coupon, I'm not gonna show that. And lastly, what do we have? Neutrogena Healthy Volume. Is it, ma ma yep, mascara. In the color black. The wand's nice and thick. It's just black. I'll use it. Well, that was my Walmart Beauty Box of the fall. I actually liked most everything in it. Um, the only things I didn't like were the little didn't like um, the disposable foil packets because I don't like foil packets in general I feel like they clutter my life and um, everything else I'm excited about favorite thing is going to go to the hydro silk disposable razor these things are expensive I just spent a good like $30 on razors the other day so a free one is nice well I guess technically it's not free, but it was only $5 for everything and it was worth it. So let me know what you got on your, on, in your Walmart beauty box if you got in, any. What the hell is your problem? He is being awful. You're bad. Bad, bad Chester. Um, let me know if you got anything different in your Walmart beauty box if you liked yours better. Oh my goodness, will you go away? Go, go, go. And I will just... Sorry, and I will just see you guys really soon in another video. Bye.